Hey guys, so welcome back to the Knitting Expat Podcast channel. My name is Nina and I'm here today to show you how I make mini bats on my blending board. So I made this blending board myself using a um, just a bamboo chopping board and I purchased the carding cloth and just stapled it on. I have a video on my channel about how I made it. You can go check that out if you're interested. And on that video, a bunch of people had asked um, me to show how I made my uh, a mini bat on it. So everyone, or I say everyone, most people know that a blending board is used to produce grow lags. Something similar to this. But what people don't realize half the time is that you can also make mini bats on um, a blending board. Now my blending board can take about 30 grams quite comfortably. Um, I could probably squeeze a little bit more on there, but I think 30 grams is a good amount. So that's just over an ounce, like 1.2 ounces. So I've pre-weighed out some different fibers and, um, and stuff, and we're gonna make a few mini bats. I'll probably only show you how I make one or two and then just show you all of them at the end so you can see, because um, otherwise it's gonna be very repetitive. But, um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna change the camera angle a little bit and we'll get going. We've got all of our fibre on the blending board and, um, and so this next bit is basically the same as what we do with a Rolag. You use your dowels to roll the fibre off. The only thing to bear in mind is when you're doing Rolags, as you're rolling, you're also drafting the fibre a bit. You don't want to do that when you're doing the bats because otherwise that's, that's not going to work. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you, but you're just going to remember not to draft um, when you're pulling the fibre off. So just pop your dowels in like you would if you were gonna do row lags. But then you're just lifting and gently rolling. I'm not pulling the fiber, I'm not drafting it. And then if there's any bits not coming up, just pick them out. little mini bat 
and if you really want if you wanted to because one end you've got the flicked out bits you can flick out the ends if you want them to be puffy I mean I don't really mind either way so this is the top side of the bottom side I've seen this method used um, on YouTube, I've seen it shown by people specifically for felting, but I don't see a reason why you couldn't do this just to make little mini bats to spin from. And then all I would do to roll this up to make it look pretty, so I would fold the top in, fold the bottom in, and then roll it up. There we have it, nice cute little mini bat. All right, now to make a few more. have our finished mini bats. I love how these have turned out, they were so much fun to make and uh, yeah you saw how easy it was, it's just load up the board with fibre and roll it off and there you go. Nice little mini bats. I'm gonna see how much um, they weigh, I'm pretty sure they weigh about 30-ish grams each so yeah that one's just over 30 and a half grams. That was almost 32 grams, so that's a bit bigger. And this one's 30 grams. And 30 grams. And 31 grams. So we have just over 150 grams worth of fiber in these five little mini brats. And yeah, it's a pretty tough with that. Um, so I'm just going to tidy up a little bit now and then I'm probably going to crack on with some spinning. Um, I won't be spinning these bats today or as part of this video. This was just a um, little, I guess, how-to kind of video on how to make bats. It's really simple on the blending board. It's, it's in my opinion, easier than doing Rolex because you don't have to worry about drafting as you're pulling them off. Um, but yeah, a really fun way to um, play around with some colour and... Uh, yeah so that's that thank you for joining me today i hope you enjoy this video and i will be back soon